The Australian Government Summer School for Teachers of Mathematics was conducted at the University of New England in January 2008. 200 mathematics teachers from across Australia came to Armidale to hear high profile presenters give lectures on a wide range of contemporary issues in mathematics. Associate Professor Marilyn Goose from the School of Education at the University of Queensland gave a presentation on the effective use of digital technologies in mathematics teaching and learning. Marilyn, I was just wondering if you could tell us what was the main focus of your presentation. Mm, sure. Um, I'll start out by saying what it was not. Um, I didn't see it as being my task to demonstrate here's how to use this technology or that technology or here's mm -hmm. you know, three or four good ideas for the classroom. Uh, I wanted to draw on research that I'd done and other people had done, but in a way that connects with teachers and gives them some really important messages. And I think one of the most important messages that comes out of all of this research is that technology has the potential to really enhance students' learning of mathematics, but the technology on its own doesn't do that. The technology mm. doesn't teach the kids. No. What really makes the difference is how the teacher uses it. Mm. So this is obviously very relevant to contemporary teaching. The IT is very much part of what we're doing these days. Mm -hmm. Just wondering if you can tell us about some of the main ideas or issues that you were hoping the teachers might um, take back into the classroom. Um, I think what I tried to give them was um, some frameworks to guide their thinking and their planning about what they're actually doing in the classroom. So one framework was to help them think about what are the potential benefits for students learning in a sort of generic sense, no matter what the technology is. Um, some examples of those, uh, one of the most powerful benefits of technology is that it allows students to see different representations of a mathematical concept and see connections between those, that's one. I think another real benefit of technology is that it allows students to, um, to draw lots of graphs or to, to do lots of things, to look at lots more examples yeah. than you could if you were just using pencil and paper. Yeah. And then they can look at those examples and make some conjectures and draw some conclusions so it can support mathematical thinking. Uh, I think one other important benefit of technology, especially with access to the internet and various other devices, is that students can work with real data, mm -hmm. not just those contrived sets of numbers yes. that we used to be limited to. Yeah. And I think that can make mathematics um, much more engaging and authentic for students. Yes, I think from the other presenters it's coming through fairly strongly that things which are going to engage and motivate the students are those things that have a connection to reality and to practice everyday living yes. and uh, when people can see the benefit of how this maths might actually be used and applied it's much more interesting to them yes. and obviously from what you're saying the technology is going to be a great boon in mm. ensuring that, that that happens. Yeah I mean that's that's thinking about students learning mm. and of course that's something that teachers are always interested in but I also uh, another message I wanted teachers to take away was to think about their own pedagogy and what role do they see technology playing mm. in their classroom. And I suspect that a lot of people, uh, whether they're teachers or especially non-teachers, think that technology, like a calculator for example, yes. is just a machine that gives you the that's answers. Right. Yep. And if that's all the technology mm. does, then that's not really helping students learn. No. So technology can be a valuable servant is the term yes. that I use there. Yeah. But I'm trying to get teachers to think of how can technology become a partner in mathematical thinking? Mm. How can it help students um, understand difficult concepts? How can it help them explore a yeah. mathematical problem on their own? Mm. How can it um, stimulate mathematical discussion in the classroom? Mm. So if you think about um, you know, what role does technology have in my pedagogy, uh, that's another message I hope they would take away. Right. Yeah. Right. Now the uh, Summer School website is going to load up uh, resources and give information for people that they can follow through just to, to um, investigate this issue a little bit further. Are there any other resources that you think people might um, go to, to to try and enhance their understanding of these issues and maybe get materials that they can use in the classroom? Mm. Uh, I think probably the, the best resource that teachers should take advantage of is membership of their Mathematics Teacher Professional right. Association. Good because that gives them access 
not only to resources but also to professional development opportunities mm -hmm. and especially to, to other teachers. Yes. And I think teachers tend to like to learn from their colleagues to find That's out right. how, yeah. how things work in classrooms. Yes, that networking is very important and I know that um, uh, AAMT have been here and have uh, encouraged people to become part of the professional association there. And, and of course the summer school itself would be a really good base for people to meet and uh, start to network with other teachers. Mm, well, it, it's, it's happening right now. Yeah. I mean, all the teachers that I'm talking to yeah. are, are saying that, you know, um, we, we, want, we want to keep um, email contact yes. with each other. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for that today. That's great. Sure.